tonight, Russian President Vladimir Putin and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un signed a new partnership pact today that includes a vow of mutual aid if either country faces, quote, aggression. This comes as both face escalating standoffs with the West. The U.S. is concerned over a possible arms agreement where Putin receives badly needed weapons for the war in Ukraine, and North Korea could get the technology to enhance its nuclear weapons and missile program. You're never going to go back to your... Concerned about World War III, Russia's nuclear doctrine calls for the employment of nuclear weapons. The West and the East are going to be fighting on the opposite side, and he's assembling the coalition to target both U.S. homeland and allies. Putin wants to make sure that he builds an anti-U.S. access, which includes North Korea, China, Cuba, Venezuela. Breaking news coming out that for the first time in 24 years, Russian President Vladimir Putin is going to be visiting North Korea. And what do you think they're going to be talking about? Well, I'm going to be sharing with you what it is the experts are saying. And yes, they are saying there's discussions with the current conflicts all over the world about World War III and Russia, North Korea unifying. And they believe these talks have already taken place between China and Russia as well. And that Putin is now getting North Korea on board. Now, this comes as I shared with you just yesterday, that Russia called NATO's chief's nuclear remarks an escalation of tensions. Now, what was it that they said that made Russia so mad and feel like this is escalating tensions towards potential war? Well, it's the same thing we saw the United States say last week as well, and that is that they could be deploying more nuclear weapons. The United States and NATO both vocalizing they're going to be taking nuclear weapons out of storage and having them on standby ready for potential nuclear war and this is in response to the growing threat all right hey shalom shalom first and foremost i would like to give all praises all honor and all glory to yahweh bahasham yahweh shah bahasham akadash double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone who teach you well peace and infinite salutations to the elect that are scattered abroad doing his work in truth and in sincerity I'm the brother of Baal Gabar from the camp company of prophets here in Tampa, Florida. Coming at you with a quick lesson. And you saw the uh, post-production video. Russia and North Korea uh, teaming up against the USA. Okay, they recently just um, went through with a, uh, a pact, a war, a war deal. That if they were attacked, they would pretty much come to each other's aid. We know that this all plays part. In Bible prophecy, okay, according to Bible prophecy, Mystery Babylon the Great, also known as America, will be utterly destroyed with nuclear missiles. All right, and Russia is going to uh, play um, a major part in aiding these other small nations with nuclear weapons. All right, so no North Korea and Russia signed mutual defense pact. So things are heating up, okay? There's a, um, you know, Talks of war in the land, all right? And this is all about to, to happen. So let me open up with this. This is Jeremiah 15 and 22. It says, a sound of battle is in the land and of great destruction, okay? And that's what we're warning of, okay? The prophets that have been before the and before uh, of old, they prophesied both against many countries of war, of pestilence, and of evil, and that's what we're doing. So I don't want the elder apostles. We're telling you that World War III is going to take place. And this is going to usher in uh, our Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, or, you know, his return. It's going to usher him coming back. OK, but World War Three is all part of Bible prophecy, and it's going to lead with the utter chaos and destruction of mystery Babylon, the great man. All right. So let me go ahead and uh, oh, let me grab this real quick. Um, this is uh, the book of. Uh, Jeremiah 28 and 8, it says, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. And that's what the prophets are doing, okay? Hey, shalom, shalom. All right, we're prophesying of war, pestilence, evil, okay? I'm going to play the video one more time so you can, you can get it. So let me go play it one more time. 
He's concerned about World War III. Russia's nuclear doctrine calls for the employment of nuclear weapons. The West and the East are going to be fighting on the opposite side, and he's assembling the coalition to target both U.S. homeland and allies. Putin wants to make sure that he builds an anti-U.S. Access, which includes North Korea, China, Cuba, Venezuela. Breaking news coming out that for the first time in 24 years, Russian President Vladimir Putin is going to be visiting North Korea. And what do you think they're going to be talking about? Well, I'm going to be sharing with you what it is the experts are saying. And yes, they are saying there's discussions with the current conflicts all over the world about World War III and Russia, North Korea unifying. And they believe these talks have already taken place between China and Russia as well. All right. And that's all Bible prophecy. OK, uh, Ezekiel, uh, the 38th chapter, Gog. OK, Russia, Gog and the land of Gog. OK, Gog and Magog. You know, which just means Gog, from the land of Gog, okay? Um, it's going into Russia, and Russia is going to aid all these other nations with nuclear weapons, okay? So things is heating up, man, all right? Things is heating up, and it's going to continue to heat up, okay, as, as the, the days go on. And I also have another video I want to play, but before that, let me go ahead and go to um, Ezekiel 38. Okay, we're and we're here prophesying. We're telling you that this is gonna happen. And we're not we're not speculating, it's not a speculation. We're telling you, starting with the elder apostles on down, that World War III is gonna take place, okay? And Mystery Babylon the Great, also known as America, is gonna be wiped off in the face of the earth, and the elect of the nation of Israel are gonna be saved out of it out of this time. All right. Let me add this back to the screen. All right, so this is uh, Ezekiel 38 and 1. It says, And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, or the land of Gog. It says, The chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and prophesy against him. And Gog represents Russia, okay? I believe when you break the word chief prince down, it comes back to a, a, a Hebrew word, Russia, or Russia. Uh, breaks down to a Hebrew word that means chief prince, I believe. Okay, it says, uh, and say, thus saith Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws. So we know that the Lord ultimately is the one that's controlling and, um, you know, orchestrating this Third World War, okay, getting all the pieces in play. To prove that real quick, scriptures tell you the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. Let me grab that precept real quick. Because there's no such thing as free will. Everything is bound to prophecy. Okay? And that's why the Bible trumps any book on the planet Earth because what's contained in the, in the Bible is prophecy. Okay? Things that were written aforetime to happen in the future. Okay, and then the Lord sent out prophets, and we're telling you what's going to happen. Like I said, we're not speculating this is going to happen, okay? And the Lord is in control of all of this. He, he controls everything, okay? This is uh, Proverbs uh, 23, verse 1. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord as the rivers of water. He turneth it whithersoever he will. So the Lord is in control of this at the end of the day. The king's heart, with that word heart in the Hebrew is la'ab, your mind, is in the hand of the Lord. So these kings like Putin, Kim Jong-un, Xi, you know, Biden, the Lord is in control of these kings. And he's, you know, as the days go on, we're getting closer to this Third World War. Because this is the Lord's, like, remember, it tells you in, uh, I believe it's Joel, the Lord is determined to gather the nations and to pour upon them his fierce anger. Okay? This is the Lord's determination. Okay? And this is all to show, show the Lord's power. Okay? Oh, no, this is Zephaniah 3 and 8. Let me read it. Zephaniah 3 and 8. Therefore, wait you upon me, saith the Lord. So we waiting. We're waiting for this day that Yahweh shall come and gather us from the four corners of the earth. Lord willing, we be the elect. You know, um, from the nuclear destruction that's coming. All right. It says until the day that I rise up to the prey 
for my determination is to gather the nations that I, I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. And we know that's going to happen by way of the nuclear destruction. OK, these ICBMs are going to start pelting this place. But we know we have a major prophecy, which is the, the mark of the beast. But what we're seeing every day that goes on, it's like every day you're hearing more rumors of wars, more talks of Russia and Ukraine and all this stuff that's happening. And we're linking it with the scriptures. We're telling you that this is all part of a Bible prophecy. Yahweh Shai in uh, Matthew, what? Matthew uh, 24. He told you that there's going to be a, a time of war that's coming, man. OK. Let me play this. Putin is now getting North Korea on board. Now, this comes, as I shared with you just yesterday, that Russia called NATO's chiefs nuclear remarks an escalation of tensions. Now, what was it that they said that made Russia so mad and feel like this is escalating tensions towards potential war? Well, it's the same thing we saw the United States say last week as well, and that is that they could be deploying more nuclear weapons. The United States and NATO both vocalizing they're going to be taking nuclear weapons weapons out of storage and having them on standby ready for potential nuclear war and this is in response to the growing threat all right so they get ready for war man okay that's why you got all these different nations they coming together you got the BRICS nations you got russia that's you know aiding these other nations because this major war is about to take place man so all praises to you how bosh me was shot every day that goes on we one day closer to this war uh, uh, popping off, man, okay? One day closer, every day that goes on, okay? And we're going to constantly give the warning, like the scriptures tell you, we're, we're blowing the trumpet, all right? So back to Ezekiel 38 and 4, it says, and I will turn thee back. Remember, this is concerning Gog and Magog. The Lord said, I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth. So the Lord is getting ready to draw Russia, which Russia is already in war with Ukraine, but Russia is ultimately going to go to war, you know, uh, with, with uh, the West, okay, America and the land of Israel, okay. It says, um, and I will bring thee forth and all thy army, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords, Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya with them. So those are some of the nations of Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya that are going to be, you know, a, a cleaving unto Russia, okay? Russia is going to be aiding these nations and helping them in this Third World War, all right? The American dollar is losing its dominance. You got all these nations that are making deals behind America's back, and they're, they're getting ready to say, you know, fuck America, okay? That's what they, that's what these nations are about to get ready to do, and they're ultimately going to end up shooting missiles over here that's going to cause... Uh, that lake of fire, okay, in the book of Revelation, um, America is going to be that lake of fire, okay? But it says, um, Gomer and all his bands, the house of Togoma of the North Quarters, and all his bands, and many people with thee. So many people are going to be guarded, are, are you know, uh, brought to uh, Russia, you know, guarded by Russia. You also have a NATO, you know, Ukraine is trying to join NATO. NATO is trying to allow uh, Ukraine to join. And if Ukraine joins, joins NATO, that's World War III because NATO, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, um, is a, a group of nations. And when one of them gets attacked, they all get attacked. Okay. The, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO, NATO nations. All right, you got um, you got the original. Okay, but now there's uh, a lot of in um, NATO, which uh, goes into the beast. Okay, you got the seven heads and the ten horns. Let me see if I can pull this up real quick, actually. So I could just go into it, which the seven heads and the ten horns. Seven heads is, um, you know what, let me read the prophecy real quick. 
just to grab it. All right, this and uh, I'm gonna grab it real quick. Um, in Revelation 12 and 3. Um, and appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon, which represents the, you know, the Edomites, you know, it says, and behold, uh, a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his head. And the seven heads uh, goes into uh, the, the Spanish, the French, the British, Germania Major, Germania Minor, the Grecians, and um, the Romans. OK, which are the seven major um, Edomite kingdoms. OK. And I'm just going into this for edification. So let me go ahead and find this real quick to get the 10 horns, because now there, there's more than there's more than 10. OK, which I'm going to read some of these NATO nations. OK, but let me um, grab this real quick. All right. Right here. And the 10. Horns, um, the ten horns represents the common market or the European Economic Community, EEC, established in 1958, today known as the EU, the European Union. OK, it says uh, Belgium, Denmark, France, Italy, Luxembourg, Netherlands, Greece, Ireland, England and West Germany. OK, NATO is an acronym for North Atlantic Treaty, Treaty Organization. It was established August 4th, 1949, consisting of 19 nations, Greece, Italy, Spain, France, West Germany, United Kingdom, uh, Portugal, Belgium, Netherlands, Luxembourg, Canada, Norway, Denmark, Iceland, Turkey, United States, Poland, Hungary, and Czech, Rep uh, the Czech Republic. Uh, these nations make up NATO, which is the beast. Okay, so... Now they're trying to get Ukraine into NATO and NATO has it to where if you attack one of these NATO nations, all of them have to come to that one NATO nation's uh, aid. So if Ukraine joins NATO, that's that's war. OK, so I want to grab this other video I came across right here. So let me go ahead and play this. All right. We enter into some beautiful times, man, a time of great death, war and, and and famine, okay? And ultimately, we know that um, the scriptures tell you the beast shall hate the whore. So these different, even America's allies, you know, that are part of NATO, they're going to end up shooting missiles over here too, okay? The whore represents America. The great whore that rideth upon uh, the beast, the, okay? So let me go ahead and uh, play this. Let me share my screen real quick. This one right here. All right. Skip the damn ad. Question. Yes. That's your child needs these three key factors to get into an Ivy League or top 25. Well, NATO appears barreling towards World War Three. This after uh, President of Russia, Vladimir Putin, uh, offered up a peace agreement, which NATO, uh, you know, unceremoniously crapped all over. Uh, now, Viktor Orban, the prime minister uh, of Hungary, warning all of us that, yes, in fact, NATO is moving to expand, building three additional bases and plans to push us into full-blown war with Russia. Watch. A NATO úgy akarja segíteni Ukrajnát, hogy létrehoz egy úgynevezett NATO-Ukrán missziót. Ez azt jelenti, hogy a NATO fogja koordinálni az Ukrajnának adandó fegyverek átszállítását, létre fognak hozni három nagy támaszpontot, ahol átadják a fegyvereket Ukrajnának, de még itt NATO országok területén, Lengyelországban, Szlovákiában, Romániában. Mi erre nem vagyunk hajlandóak. Szerintünk, ahol fegyvereket adnak át, az katonai célponttá válik az ellenség nézőpontjából, és ott bármi megtörténhet. És, tehát az, ukra, az ukrán misszió azt jelenti a NATO felől, hogy létrehozza ezeket a fegyverkoordinációs átadási pontokat. A második, hogy a NATO tagállamok pénzt dobnak össze, hogy támogassák Ukrajna katonai erőfeszítését. And you gotta, you gotta read it because it's in a, a different language, but go ahead and read it. És harmadrészt pedig kiképeznek ukrán katonákat. 
van egy vita, hogy a saját területükön, vagy ukrán területén, de a lényeg, hogy a frontra menő ukrán katonák kiképzésében közvetlen szerepet vállalnak. Most Magyarország ebben nem akar részt venni. És ezt a problémát kellett megoldani. Nyilvánvalóan van rajtunk egy óriási nyomás. 31 tagállam tol bennünket bele, hogy úgy, ahogy ők, mi is álljunk át a béke oldaláról, a háború oldalára. And he's not the only one. We have Serbian uh, President Vucic also saying the very same thing, that war with Russia will start in about three months. So three months till a full-blown war, this appears... So, I mean, you hear it. They're talking about three months, which we know that, you know, nuclear war ultimately isn't going to take place until the, the market of beasts is mandatory. Because before the lake of fire, you know, uh, the people that take the market of beasts are going to be cast into the lake of fire. So the market of beasts has to come first. So let me go ahead and grab some scriptures. This is uh, Revelation 11 and 14. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. All right, World War III is coming quickly, okay? Appears to be what NATO wants, and NATO seems to be getting this. Let's ask former uh, CIA intelligence agent, uh, Larry Johnson, um, who has some impeccable sources on this. I wanted to get Larry's assessment of this um, from a from an intelligence perspective and what what is sort of like happening in the back channels right now as this appears to be barreling towards war. Larry, welcome back to the show. Good to see you. Hey, Clayton. Great to be with you, man. So, you know, we see we see Putin put out this this peace proposal the other day and NATO just immediately uh, just stepped all over it. No, we're not going to be giving back this land. This is not going to happen. Uh, and it appears that the only solution from, from, from NATO's perspective is like a surrender of Russia, which is not going to happen. So what do you think is happening right now, sort of back channels to maybe prevent World War III? Or are we heading towards a full-blown World War III? Uh, with respect to your last question, yes, that's where we're headed. Uh, Putin is he's playing the game of poker with the West, and the West doesn't know how doesn't realize it's not holding any cards. So when you go back and look at the negotiations. Absolutely right. Especially when all these nations are getting ready to turn on the West. Okay. Which is all ties into Bible prophecy. Okay. Uh, let me grab this. This is uh, Jeremiah 59 for lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon. All right. I will raise and cause up to come against Babylon. Babylon is America. An assembly of great nations from the North Country. And this North Country primarily is Russia. Okay. And they shall set themselves in array against her. So all these nations, they're going to be, they're going to bombard America with these missiles, man. Ultimately, what's going to happen is this, this thing is going to turn nuclear. Okay. It's going to spiral out of control one way or another. Okay. It's a ticking time bomb. Every second that goes on, we one day closer to this war popping off which in turn means we're one day closer to our Lord, Yahweh Shai, coming back and gathering his elect, okay? But it says, um, and they shall set themselves in array against her. From thence she shall be taken. Their arrows shall be as of a mighty expert man, and none shall return in vain. And these arrows represent the ICBM missiles, okay? The intercontinent, intercontinental continental ballistic missiles, ICBM. Okay, these are the arrows, all right? Remember the prophets, they got visions of World War III. And this is over 2,000 years ago, so they were, you know, writing it down. The scribes would write it down, and they would describe the missiles as arrows parabolically. So these arrows that are going to be shot at Babylon, at America, are the ICBMs, okay, from Russia, North Korea, China, okay? And, and remember uh, Ezekiel 38, that... Um, let me grab that. Let's go back to that real quick. Ezekiel 38, that Russia was going to be a guard to these other nations. Okay, Ezekiel 38 and verse uh, 7, be thou prepared, talking about Russia, Gog, be thou prepared and prepare for thyself, thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them. Okay, so. Russia making all these deals with different nations, you know, is really tying into Bible prophecy because Russia was going to play the part of being a guard unto these other nations that are assembled unto Russia. Okay. And ultimately, they're all going to turn on the West. 
Okay, America, Mystery Babylon the Great. All right. It says, uh, Jeremiah 15 and 14, put yourselves in array against Babylon round about. All you that bend the bow, shoot at her, spared no arrows. So not one nuclear missile is going to be spared. All, every, when it said all you that bend the bow, that's talking about everybody that has nuclear missiles ultimately are going to shoot them at America. Okay. At Mystery Babylon the Great. Okay, which is going to cause that lake of fire. That's going to bring that final plague where people's flesh is going to consume off of their body, man. Okay, and this is reality. This is, there's no way around this. Every day that goes on, we one day closer to that day. One day we're going to wake up, brothers and sisters of the faith, you know, uh, you know, the 144,000 and everybody that's on earth on that day, you're going to wake up one day and it's going to be that day. And America is going to be destroyed in one hour, man. One hour. Can you, can you imagine that? Think about all the years it took to build up America, all the buildings, all the skyscrapers, all the, the stores. In one hour, this whole land is going to be destroyed according to Bible prophecy. Okay? And it's going to be utterly destroyed. It's going to be turned to a desert. But it says, uh, put yourselves in array against Babylon round about. All you that bend the bow, shoot at her. Spare no arrows, for she has against Yahweh, okay and that's what happened that this this nation in america uh, was built off of blood okay primarily the blood of the israelites okay and shalom shakwat yahweh bashmeo shabra all right so let's let's listen a little bit longer let's listen to some more of this it took place in march of 22. putin at that point was willing to let luhansk and donetsk stay within ukraine that was then. The West, as you you know correctly noted, crapped all over that. Told Zelensky to back out of that. He did. So they didn't get that deal done. So now here we are. Putin has put a new deal on the table. Okay, this deal now says, all right, we're going to keep the Nets, we're going to keep Luhansk, and we're going to keep Kherson and Zaporizhia. But come to the table and talk. We'll we'll everything else is open. Notice what wasn't on that list, Odessa. So Putin has left Odessa in play for them, giving the West and Ukraine an incentive to save something of Ukraine. And what did the West do? Once again, as you said, crapped all over it. Hmm. Okay, they, bat they missed this opportunity. Next stop, Odessa and Kiev. All right, you got to uh, check this channel out. It's uh, redacted. Okay, a lot of stuff goes on, a lot of good stuff. Okay. So and you can watch the video. I might play a little bit more, but I'm I'm about to close it out. But um, I want to grab this real quick. Uh this is uh, Revelation 21 and 7. He that overcometh shall inherit all things. Okay, talking about the elect, you brothers and sisters of the faith. It says, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. Okay, the Lord is gonna be with us during this time. Okay, so, you know, don't don't fear, you know, this is just rumors of wars. If anything, fear the Lord, that the Lord is making moves, okay? He's doing everything he said he was going to do. And one of those things that he said he was going to do is utterly destroy Mystery Babylon the Great, okay? It says, um, verse 8, but the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. And the second death is when America is completely, utterly uh, hit with the ICBMs, okay? Uh, the first death was the time of the flood, okay? And, um, you know, this lake that burneth with fire, which is the second death, this is talking about Mystery Babylon, the great America, being set on fire by these missiles, man. Okay. And every day that goes on, we one day closer. Yahweh Shai has told us that you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. All right. Now, once that microchip comes out, which is coming soon, it's going to be mandated. The dollar is going to crash. There's going to be a CBDC, uh, UBI. You know, we know the plans of the elite. You know, they've been exposed. But once we see that karagma, everything's gonna happen quick. Okay, we're gonna be, we could be out of, we could be out of here in months, you know, in the next year, 
you know, when I say months, it could be 12 months, 16 months, 18 months. What, what, pretty much what I'm saying is we're, we're counting down months, man. OK, we don't know the exact day, but when you measure the times and I'm just speaking as a man, OK, that this thing could speed up quick. When the chip comes out, we could be out of here in weeks or to months. OK, so everything is going to happen real quick when that microchip comes out, man. So let's continue to push forward. Let's continue to watch. OK, watch as well as pray, as the scriptures say, you know, look for the signs, continue to look up, you know, pray fast, do what you got to do because shit is heating up. OK, so Russia and North Korea are teaming up against the USA, which that's Bible prophecy. Russia is going to be a guard unto these other nations. Remember that Ezekiel uh, 38. Russia is going to be a guard to these other nations. Russia is going to start arming these other nations with nuclear weapons. That's why the scriptures tell you, let the weak say I am strong. Because now these once weak nations, they got nuclear weapons and they're going to end up shooting them over here at America sooner than later. OK, which is going to bring in that lake of fire. All right. So there you have it. OK, prophecy and the war drums beating. With that, I'm going to say, Kohaloi, Yahweh, Shai. Till next time I say shalom.